Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to create this realistic watercolor painting in the app IBS Paintex without using any texture background canvas. So if you are a free version user, this is the tutorial for you because all the textures are in the paid version. So without applying any paid version texture, how to create this realistic watercolor. So I will show you that in this video. So first I'm going to draw the basic sketch as usual. So this is the FST canvas and using the felt tip pen hard brush I'm going to draw the basic uh, rascus plant shape. So I found so many reference from Pinterest and uh, using multiple reference I'm drawing this uh, stem and leaf so um, to avoid confusion and um, you know misunderstanding while, uh, while you are uh, drawing so uh, to, for that purpose I am just drawing leaves in a separate layer and stem in a separate layer in first layer I have already drawn the stem and in the second layer I am drawing the leaf so if you feel like you drawn the leaf very small or uh, in a bad shape then using liquid tool you uh, you can uh, change the shape like that then uh, so based from based on the reference i'm drawing this uh, shape like this please so i'll uh, show you why i draw the stem and leaf separately though this uh, sketch will not appear in the final artwork uh, for our reference it should be clear a little bit so that we can understand where we have to shade darker where we have to draw leaves where stem and all those things so i almost finished this sketch so now you can see there are so many um intersections between the leaves stem and uh, that shoot so now go to lazo eraser in the special tool and now i'm on the uh, leaf layer so wherever you feel like if, you, if the leaf want to uh, be behind the uh, fruit like this then erase the leaf part which is inside the fruit like this so if the leaf want to be at the front and uh, the fruit is want to be at the back side then erase the fruit like that and so then wherever you find the stem has to be behind the leaves or the fruit then erase the stem area like this in the stem layer so that's why i told you to create a separate layer for all this because we can create the sketch very easily without any confusion once you're done just merge two layers now this is the sketch layer if you want to make it bigger or something like that just uh, using the transform tool adjust the position and make it big or small whatever you want so now i'm going to create a new layer and i forgot to draw this line so i'm drawing this so now I'm just going to create a new layer and using the lasso tool I'm going to select the leaves. So when it comes to leaves I uh, follow a separate technique that I created uh, on my own. So I didn't uh, get uh, that idea from any other tutorials so far. So I, am not, I have not seen this technique so far but this is my own style. So um, what I'm doing is using the lasso tool I'm going to select the leaves that I want to paint first using the watercolor so the thing is don't choose the alternate leaves so for example so here you can see there is no uh, merging leaves selector so if these two leaves are uh, next to each other don't select that select the leaves where there is a gap between two so in that way you have to select and we can draw uh, the painting process now. So if I select the neighboring leaves 
uh, with have uh, merging with this uh, leaf then if i add shading like this whatever i'm drawing it will be applied to that area of another leaf as well so it will not look clear and perfect so that's that's the reason why i am preferring using this alternate method to select the leaves and paint then once i fi finished then i will uh, uh, just uh, really uh, remove the selection and select another set of leaves so here you can see i just used all the uh, brushes and also i mentioned the uh, brushes at the top you can uh, uh, use for the reference and here you can see so the uh, seed is at uh, the fruit is at the front and the leaf is at the back of that fruit so i'm going to make the uh, leaf little bit darker um, uh, nearer the fruit because it acts like a shadow of that uh, fruit so and also in the leaf we have some dark edged corner so i'm using watercolor real brush to make this hard uh, you know sharp edge a dark corner and to blend them well uh, instead of using any blending uh, brushes i'm using the same shade and adding the shade like this little bit made uh, the uh, hard short line uh, stroke that we have made so here you can see there is some sort of texture visible uh, in the leaf so the main uh, brushes that you can use for the texture or watercolor edge brush watercolor real brush so these uh, are main for the watercolor uh, texture uh, and for blending you for you can go for watercolor bleed brush uh, that gives blending as well as uh, adding the color shade so if you want to make the leaf or any other uh, artwork uh, you know watery then you can go for watercolor uh, in watercolor water brush so here you can see i'm using the watercolor i mean a dip pen hard uh, dip, dip pen bleed brush sorry to make this center uh, now then i'm adding another shade like this little bit here and there so this is a little bit older leaf uh aged leaf so it looks darker as we move to the top the leaves uh, will be a little bit lighter and fresh so like this and adding the shading so same process same brushes uh, wherever you want to apply the texture just go for watercolor edge and watercolor real press so in the way, same way we have to uh, add the shadings for all the leaves that we have selected like this Okay, now in the same way I'm going to do the coloring for all these leaves. Once you're done, here comes the main uh, magic that uh, uh, you know helps to get the texture. So now you can see we have finished all the leaves. Now just go back to the second layer. Go to materials, choose material patterns, gray and in that select drawing paper one so this is one of the free textures uh, material available for us to use uh, if you are using the free version so i'm using the uh, paid version but if you are a free, free version user you will also have this option then just change the blending mode to overlay once you're done you will get the texture like this adjust the opacity of the layer so that it looks some kind of some sort of you know realistic watercolor then here you can see without the outline it looks perfectly you know like a real plant so i really like this so now we can do the coloring for the other leaves as well like this 
now the fruits are bending so i'm going to add the shadings for the fruits now so without sketch it looks like this and you can see the texture visible yeah like this it looks really you know textured uh, like a real watermelon so next thing is i'm going to draw the fruit here you can see i have already um drawn some part of uh, uh, leaves in that fruit area but it actually that has to be a fruit but i am only drawn the uh, leaf so what I, what we can do is select the uh, fruit area whatever it may be choose using the laser tool for select all the fruits like this and here you can see these are the fruits i have selected now you can see here there is a, a merging just go to that layer click on the clear layer here once you clear that option you can see it got erased so that's how if you unknowingly made a mistake you can you don't need to worry about that just select that area and i uh, want to use the clear layer that will be applied that clear option will be applied only to the areas selector that's the specialty of, and specialty of laser tool so and just do that process and you can continue shading like this also if you are uh, uh just recreating my artwork same like this or if you feel uh inspired from uh, my artworks and if you want to share just search for the android artist in instagram and you can tag me back um so it will be uh he you know helpful for me as well to understand how my subscribers um you know are able to understand my uh, artwork or uh, tutorials or not as well as i can also feel happy that um to create uh, to see my uh fans a uh, recreation so please uh, tag me on my instagram when you recreate something some of my artwork so i can also see that so here you can see wherever you feel that the fruit is behind the leaves that you can add the darker shade um, uh, you know nearer to that leaf so that it acts like a shadow and gives some 3d look realistic look to your artwork so i just added some white shades there uh, to represent the reflection of surrounding um, environment so that's why it looks white and at the end it looks perfect now you may think like uh, that white um, details in the fruit looks um, not good something like that but once we finished it will looks it will look perfect like this so I'm not dragging the brush instead I'm just tapping the brush so tap tap do like that and don't drag if you drag it looks uh, you know messy so now we almost finished the fruit now I'm going to select the uh, stem areas using the same laser tool like this also here and in all the areas that has to be visible the artwork then again same process use the watercolor edge brush first then if you want to blend just use the watercolor water brush or other ways if you want to make it more textured one just go to a watercolor real brush after finishing with the watercolor edge brush also add some lighter shades here and there so that it looks like a realistic stem don't uh, only follow that one color um, add some different shades in the same color like um, a little bit darker a little bit lighter like that so now 
can see it's almost ready i just remove the selection now go to the you know feather skate it look like this just adjust the opacity of the overlay texture and see which looks perfect then save it as png and here comes the final artwork so this look realistic you can create some clip parts uh, using this method so if you like my tutorial subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching